remember any like special holiday episodes of any shows? I remember like a lot of the shows that I watched as a kid were in reruns, so you were, you would watch a Halloween episode in like you know February or. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember, like, sitting down during the holiday to watch a specifically holiday special, except for maybe Charlie Brown, I remember, um, Charlie Brown, both the Christmas and the Halloween one. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, it's always fun. It gets you in the mood, I think. And even though we shoot our episodes ahead of time, you know, we shot the Halloween episode, we just shot our Thanksgiving, and we're kind of shooting our Christmassy one right now. Uh, it kind of even gets us in the mood early because all the set decoration is, you know, Christmas ornaments and that kind of stuff. It, it's, it's, it's fun. Even though it's 105 degrees out there. <sighs> yeah, even though it's 105. Yeah. The show's been getting a lot of really positive buzz. Has that felt good? It has felt good because, you know, you try and, you try and concentrate just on your own job. Am I doing a good job? Am I having fun? Do I like the people? You know, and so that... You, tr you know, any outside noise you can sort of, you try and tune out, but it's really hard to tune that out, especially now with so many ways to get information. But when the fans, like, respond on Twitter, um, or they give us feedback and they are enjoying the show, it does feel good, you know, so they, you don't feel like you're creating in a bubble, or that you're having fun in a bubble. Well, it seems like it'd be important, too, as a new show, Mm -hmm. that, you know, to get this immediate response that maybe shows didn't used to get without social media. <laughs> so at least you can kind of look at that and respond and kind of even think about it as you guys go along. Is that something that you guys talk about? Well, what's interesting to me is I've never had, you know, like live tweeting events with shows. Um, I think I did it maybe twice with Go On where they hooked us up with an East Coast feed. But, but this cast gets together and, and we all sit in a room and we do it together for well, at least we did it for the first three episodes and it's really fun because we're sitting right next to each other and we're live tweeting while we're watching the show but we're also interacting with the fans who are watching at the same time it's 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 definitely a different world <laughs> <laughs> but you do get that immediate response that a, lo a lot of times when you do television and movies you don't get you know how do you think the live tweeting helps the like watching process for the viewer um i don't know what the experience is specifically for them because I've never done it but on Twitter they'll say I see that Dr. Ken is trending I'll have to check it out like they they sit they you know their timeline is filled up with hashtag Dr. Ken so it generates interest for sure and if they see positive responses then it really does at least based on the tweets that I've seen um, it does motivate them to say oh I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out I'm gonna start watching it so that I feel like it's good and it's immediate. But do you, I mean, also, you know, Twitter can be a, a scary bad place. I mean, so <laughs> do you d delve into it too deeply or do you, how do you tune that out? As, as um, I, honestly, I haven't seen a lot of negative stuff. Um, there, there's been honestly maybe one or two kind of like weird iffy ones. <laughs> and I just turned the t-shirt and I was like, what do I do about this? And she goes, just block them. <laughs> oh so I was like, oh. So she kind of walked me through it and, I, and it was done. I didn't even see it anymore. I'm like, oh, that was easy. Yeah. But yeah, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of trolls. Maybe because trolls aren't watching family television shows <laughs> on Friday night. I don't know. It's been pretty good. With um, Halloween and then Thanksgiving and then the holidays like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite time of one of those three? I gotta love Thanksgiving. Why? Um, I have a I love watching um John Candy and Steve Martin in Planes, Trains and Automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> and I always thought that that movie sort of encapsulated the spirit of Thanksgiving. And it's it's um it's non denominational, you know, like it's not a religious holiday, it's just sort of like and you get people together, and of course, it's surrounded by food, which is, you know, it's a it's a it's a holiday that where food plays an important role. Um, and I just I just sort of like the feeling, and I like the idea that you take a moment to be grateful. What would you say is your favorite holiday ritual? <laughs> Besides eating, <laughs> uh, probably for some reason I I do like cooking for Thanksgiving. Um, because I, because I like the the meditative quality almost mm -hmm. of it. It's like you start you're basically cooking all day, 
but I do like it. I just, I don't know. I, I, it's almost meditative to me because you're just doing like prep. You're doing a lot of like, you know, preparing things and I don't know. I, I like it. And plus you're making something ideally that's delicious. <laughs> Are you the one that holds Thanksgiving or do you leave that up to other people and just bring your delicious food? I've done it a couple ways. I've done like a potluck where you each make something and you bring it and then you get to, you know, try everyone's. But uh, that's always iffy because they're always like, you know what, this is our version of, <laughs> of stuffing. What we do, and then it's, they ruin it. Like, they're like, what we do is we put cranberries in it and walnuts. Yeah. And you're like, you've just yeah. ruined the <laughs> stuffing. Yeah. So, I mean, that's yeah. the other thing about a potluck is you're like, this is my version of green beans. You know, it's like, <laughs> so I do like to make my favorite one, which is, you know, the Campbell mushroom, the Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, green beans with the jerky onions on top. Like all that stuff I right. love. Yeah. yeah. And I don't put oysters in my stuffing and I don't put nuts in my stuffing. Good. We got to see you guys just for a few minutes rehearsing and you know, everything seems so easy for you on this set. Is that something that you feel, you know, even as a new cast that things are just going really well? Yeah. It, <laughs> I mean, you know, the casting director and, and the executive producers and they just sort of assembled this group of very like people so that when we met, like I I knew Ken a little bit before, but I never worked or knew Tisha or Dave or any of these people. And so we met each other, we liked each other right away. It seemed like they just sort of gathered similar people, people together. Um, and we work really well together. I mean, that's sort of the idea of an ensemble, right? Is your, your job is to make someone else look better. So if everyone is doing that, then then it then it then it's easy and it's fun and it's hopefully good. For um, Halloween, like what are you what are you gonna do this year for Halloween? Do you do anything? Well, I live in West Hollywood. Oh. So, <laughs> so some it depends how I feel. Like sometimes I'm just like batting down the hatches and I'm like because I'm doing laundry because I'm not you know. <laughs> Um, but sometimes, like last year, I put on a flamingo costume and I walked uh, with a bunch of my friends and we all were in costume and we walked down Santa Monica Boulevard. Basically just walked slowly, like all the way from La Cienega, I don't know how far we got, <laughs> and then just walked back. Because it is, it's people watching at its finest, Yeah. you know, and it's friendly and it's not like a bunch of yahoos drinking, it's just sort of like people admiring you know, costumes and artistic expressions, <laughs> and it was pretty low key, but it was it was it was really fun. So that was last year. This year, uh, you know, it's like everyone. You make the call like a week in, right? <laughs> and you're like, well, I'm either gonna go all out or I'm gonna be a lumberjack or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a lot of trick or treaters there? I mean, not, not in West Hollywood. No. no, not historically. Yeah. But if it, I mean, once I was caught in traffic coming from a friend's house, and I was just on Santa Monica Boulevard, but it was lovely because the the traffic wasn't moving, and you were just watching everyone leaving, and it was like your own parade. <laughs> so you were just caught in traffic. And you're like, oh my god, Frito Kahlo, that's amazing! Like you're just sort of admiring everyone walking past you. I, I really enjoyed that. And I was like, I, I wasn't in a rush to go anywhere. I'm like, where was I going? I was going home. How does it feel playing this matriarch of this family? Having, you know, <laughs> you've got these kind of little smart ass kids that are big kids, you know, is that fun? It is fun. It is fun. I have um, a lot of nieces and nephews that I think I've practiced on over the years. Um, and I guess I, I, never, I never really thought about, about her as a matriarch, but I'm basing my character on a bunch of moms that I know, and I see them as matriarchs, so, so it's kind of funny that I never thought of my character as one. Um, but yeah, I, I do like the idea of, um, you know, where one of the partners sort of is the glue that keeps the family together, or at least um, the major communicator, you know, and they're, they're the diplomat and they're the, the, the go-between and they're the mediator and they're the hammer, you know, I, I like that. I like that because I think that's what a lot of parents do. Is and maybe it, they don't know they're doing it. Is it weird to think of Ken as a doctor? I mean, you don't know him in that context, do you? I don't. And it was weird. But, I mean, I met him when he was a doctor and he was starting to be an actor and I was... 
I remember thinking, like, mm, okay, <laughs> go for it, I guess. Um, but when I see him approach the work and I see how serious he is and how analytical he is, he asks questions and, you know, he's very collaborative. Then I see the medical part of him because I can see he's not like a goofy, like, woo, you know, he's, he takes this very seriously. And his work ethic, work ethic is such as that I see the, the student and the doctor in him when he's like that. You're like, okay, yeah, I could totally see you. In the doctor setting, he's now. not giving flu shots on set, though, or anything. Not yet, <laughs> not yet. Why you feel? Are you feeling a little? A little bit. Now, would, you, would, you, would you let him? Would you go to him as a doctor? I totally would. Yeah, like right before we shot the pilot, I got a cat scratch right here. I don't know if you could still see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like right before we shot, and so I didn't have time to really like heal or anything and I remember I was in the makeup chair and they were trying to cover it up and he's like hey let me take a look at it <laughs> like you can you see that part of him oh my gosh where he's like okay yeah he's like put on the and and they funny. they I, I put on the they put on a pendant necklace and they kept moving so that so I'm like just tape it down just tape it down <laughs> so it was like taped to me 